Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to today's video. We are back in the studio and I honestly, I didn't realize it had been that long since I'd filmed here. I started setting up in here today and I was just like, okay, where am I putting the camera? Where do things go? I can't remember. And then it dawned on me that I haven't filmed in here for ages. Right, I'm looking off camera because I have some plans to show you today. And the best way I can describe them is kind of oddballs that I have in the shop. I don't know if that's gonna be the title, but that's the best way that I can kind of describe it. I'm going to show it to you. There are some philodendron, anthurium, a lot of anthurium actually, and I think we have a discoria. So I wanted to start with this plant here and it looks really cute. So this plant was actually gifted to me by a friend. This is a cutting of a plant I actually sold once. It was so long ago. It was way back when in my old shop and I can't remember the name of this plant. I will put it on the screen for you, obviously, but it's just a type of dyscoria. But honestly, I'm really, really enjoying it and it grows so fast. I think the last ones I had in the shop, I had like one batch of them and this was like a couple of years ago now and I sold them, but I think I had them inside a month and I don't remember anything about how they grew anything but my goodness they are fast i'd love to hear if you guys have one of these again i can't remember exactly what type of discoria it is but if i just hold it up look at that that is that not a thumbnail by itself look at that oh my god it's so pretty look at it up close so this discoria again i can't tell you much about it because i don't know i've just got a cutting back because i loved it so much and i kind of missed that plant and i haven't really been able to find them anywhere but can i just show you these vines that are growing around this plant right here can you see that they're all curling round. Oh, if you couldn't already tell, beautiful purple undersides of the leaves as well. Really nice. And then they're accompanied by this weird kind of kind of silveriness on the top there. I know I've got a bit of moss, bit of dust on that. But they're really, really beautiful plants. So this cutting, it's actually knocked over in the pot. It's literally, guys, it's a cutting this big. It's tiny. So I'm putting it in there so that it's less likely to snap while I hold it on camera. But it's not actually in a pot this big. This is genuinely just to show. But honestly, I keep having to cover my face because this camera really likes my face. Look at that and look how cute the little vines are here when they kind of start coiling and stuff. I love it so much. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna grow this, to be honest. I haven't had any ideas yet. Like, I think I might have to keep like cutting, propagating and making more of like a bush. Maybe I can make it into like a big hind plant. I don't really fancy growing it up another pole. I quite like this, like I quite like the trailing effect. So although it probably does need a pole, I'm probably not going to do that, but there you go. Can't tell you much about it because as I say, this video is oddballs and I don't really know a lot about any of the plants in this video. So really cute though. Let me know if you know anything about it. Let me know if you have it, how it's growing, how you're growing it, etc. Really, really pretty plant. And I think when my friend gave this to me, it had a couple of leaves. I can't remember, but it's got so much more. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, I love it so much. The next plant I'd like to talk to you about, I'm not quite sure what it is. Are you noticing a pattern here today? So I think this has come from, there's a spider on the back of that, great. I think this has come from my flat. I think it's the one that I originally held there. If it's not, then I know it's here somewhere. But I think this was or is something to do with Anthurium pap papalapalaminum. I can't remember what it is, or papalap papalap. Papalaminum? I don't know. Again, name is on the bottom of the screen, but I wanted to show you it because it's actually a really, really nice anthurium. They are characteristically very long here. Sorry, if you see something wiggling on this leaf, it is a spider. Let me just remove him. There he is. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm afraid of spiders. I can deal with money spiders, but he kind of jumped and that was, that was not fun. He's not on me, is he? So a characteristic of these plants is that they're quite long. They have not a coffin shape, but they have a weird shape to them, if you can see. So they're not too fat, not too long. They're really nice though, and they can get really big and pretty. But I want to show you it because I think I might have one other in the shop. I want to show you how they come in as well, because the new leaves look really good when they come in. You see that? it might focus. Like they come in really dark. It's a very, very dark leaved plant. There's one of the older leaves that's taken a little bit of a punch, but it is very, very pretty. I'm thinking about rearranging like what's here in the shelves on the background. That's my spiritus there, by the way. I'm thinking about rearranging a few things in here. I might put one of these, if I have more than one of them anyway, up here to grow. I'm going to do that with a couple of these because things just like growing in here. I don't know if you can tell, but this looks quite overgrown now. Like I do have some stuff down here that you can't see, but it's just very grown in. Like even my anthuriums grow so well up here. Let me just show you these because this is ridiculous. Sorry, I'm trying to put this down. Look at this. Seriously, that's spaghetti eye. 
and that's just grown up here and that's grown up here in let me tell you pure neglect so anthurium's grown really well up here i might bring a couple of these up at your side today we'll see how it goes how nice let me just put him back so yeah i wanted to tell you about this because he's just weird and i don't really hear anyone talk about these and i think they're really nice right this oh my goodness this is going to be a little bit hard to show you and honestly i probably should trim this and i, I kind of haven't is there anything to trim before we start maybe this one but there's nothing actually wrong with the leaf it's just because it's growing in a shit direction so this plant here it's a philodendron and i bought it as nangaratensi but it just ain't which is what makes it an oddball so i bought it as that it's not the same at all it's actually a climber but i don't know if you can see these petioles not the same at all i think a few people have referred to this plant before as just philodendron fuzzy petiole and you can really really see it there i think on the back of the stems, really, really nice. It's a nice enough plant, and I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I don't really know what to do with it. It's one of these things where I can't really sell it if I don't know what it is. There's only one of them. I'm not going to get rid of it or anything, but I don't really know what it is. So if you know what this is, then please let me know. It's obviously grown towards the light a little bit because it's kind of on a big, a big lean. It is a nice plant. It's, I mean, it's not the best example, is it? But it's the only example I've got because it is an odd bod. That's him. Really? Not my favourite in the shop by any means at all. It's just a bit random. The next plant I'd like to show you is kind of a little bit special, this one. This is a plant that came to me. I haven't had this very long. This is a plant that came to me when I shipped over my gorgeous um, variegated gloriosum and the Delta Force and all that sort of stuff recently. This here is Anthurium Fairchild. Now, I don't think it's known as anything else, just Anthurium Fairchild, but I wanted to show you it. Obviously, this is a bit rough. It's not long being shipped, but I have to show you because it's actually really pretty and I can't wait to see it grow out. I'm going to show you this up close. Look at that. I know it's obviously a little bit um, curved. The leaf's kind of curled inwards a little bit, probably due to shipping. Well, I've had it out a little while now. I think I've had it two, three weeks, but it doesn't really seem to want to flatten out. But that's it. It's kind of like a crystallinum, but not. It's really, really nice, but it's really pretty. And it, it was kind of sent as like a one-off, just something to have over here. So it's not like I couldn't or wouldn't sell it. It's just I have kind of the one, so it's not really that kind of thing. But how pretty is it, though? It's super nice. I'm really liking this. I'll just show you up close again, because it really is that nice. Look at that. That's really pretty. Now, not everyone probably loves this. If you're not into Anthurium, you're going to be like, right, okay, looks the same as the rest of them. But I mean, you could argue that for philodendron, right? Like all heart-shaped philodendron look the same. I get it. Don't worry. If you're not super excited by this, I get it. But it is quite nice because it's Fairchild and it's over here in the UK. So it's kind of cool. I'll let you know how it does. So far, it seems reasonably tough. It doesn't seem particularly weak by the fact it's still alive and it's survived the shipping and I only had one. So that's 100% success rate so far. Can't tell you anything. Not had it very long, but it's very pretty. The next plant I'd like to show you is in a... I don't know why it's in this bigger pot. It's probably got big roots. I don't know. But this here, would you believe, is actually a hybrid of Anthurium Warraquinum and Anthurium Magnificum. Let me check. I've got that actually right. Yeah, Mag by Warrack. Yeah, really, really nice. I think I only have the one of these. I can't remember how I even got this. You can see it's got the length of the Queen Anthurium and then the kind of all green mutedness of the Magnificum. Probably not for everyone. It depends how much you're actually into your hybrids. I don't know what people would think of that. I think it's actually very beautiful. It is quite understated, but hopefully, I'm kind of hoping that it gets longer as it gets older. We will have to see, because I don't know, but I really, really like it so far. Obviously, that's the newest leaf. That's why it's looking really, really hot. Let me just try and show you. It's really hard to look past the camera and show you the plant. But there it is. Really quite pretty, that one. It's got just enough length. It's got just enough vein. It's got just enough understatedness. Because I like a lot of understated plants, like the forget eye that's on that shelf there. It's not for everyone, but you can totally see the queen aspect, can't you, in that veining. It's really, really nice. This next plant I want to talk to you about, I would be really curious to see how many people actually remember this. Now, I hold this plant in a video. When was this? It was last year, it was 2020 at some point during the, the pandemic and it was when I was like secretly doing up the shop and then no one knew. So I was filming like a ton of videos in the old shop and there was like one corner dressed up and then the rest was empty kind of thing. So I filmed this haul and it was basically an anthurium haul. There was a really weird forgetty eye that got sent to me. Um, I bought it on the whim that it was just this weird different thing. And I called it chocolate forgetty eye in this video. Now, I thought it had died. I thought I'd lost it. And to be honest, it, it nearly has died several times. But it's come back from the dead, right? Now, I know this is tiny. I know this is kind of pathetic, but stay with me. So I called it chocolate forgetty eye. That's not an official name, by the way. That's just something I dubbed it because it, it's supposedly a forgetty eye anyway. I don't think it is. And it's very, very chocolatey in nature. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, 
yeah, to me, that just looks kind of green, but it, it is very chocolatey. It's one of those things where the camera's just not going to show you it. And you just have to trust me that it's got a very chocolatey appearance in real life. So basically, there's this tiny little guy that's growing in this little pot. And I thought he died, but he hasn't. So he is definitely an oddball because I don't quite know what he is. I will give you a little turny-turny of him if it focuses. Is it going to focus? Sort of. You're going to focus on that? Yay! Tiny little one. It's got really weird veins on it. There you go. There's another leaf. And if I pop that one there, there's another leaf again. Can you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not forgetty eye, I don't think. I mean, it's got a sinus for one thing, so I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's really intriguing, and I need to grow this big. So this is actually going to live here. So I'm actually going to put this somewhere in the background. I'll put it here for starters, but... I think it deserves to be here because I think it's going to grow quicker because as I mentioned before, everything Anthurium in here just does so well. So I haven't got much to say about him other than, do you remember him? Yes, I don't know what he is. He nearly died. He's sprouting back. He looks a bit different. If you think you know what he might be, then feel free to write an answer down below, but I have literally no idea what he is. I think he's from Indonesia, if I remember rightly. I don't know. He's weird, though. So this next plant I want to show you, I found this among my anthurium, and I think it's, is it a seedling that I was growing out? I can't remember. But it's not normal, right? And this might be another thing where this is just really disappointing for you, and the camera just does not pick this up. But it looks like an anthurium of sorts, and the leaf has this really strange finish on it. It's almost like, well, I think Ben described it as like a petroly kind of finish. Does that make any sense? Like the weird shift, like the two-toneness? Now I can sort of see it here, like looking at it now before I show you it, but I don't think it's going to come off on camera. So I won't spend too long on this plant for fear that it, it doesn't come off. It just looks like a random leaf. But again, I'm going to show you this. What does it say it is? So this was tagged as crystallinum in a batch of seedlings that I bought. That's why that says crystallinum. You'll not be able to tell, but it does. But it ain't. It really ain't. Check this out. If I pull that down, can you see what I'm talking about? Sorry, I have to get it to not focus on my face. Can you see if I start moving this leaf around? Trust me when I say I don't have any other plants in the shop that do that. And again, I don't know how obvious the petroly kind of finishes. Sorry, I'm trying to look past this leaf while I move it around. It's very, very difficult. See that? I really, really hope that comes off on camera, but honestly, nothing else in the shop does this, which honestly might give an indication as to what this plant actually is, because I don't know. It'd be really, really interesting though, and that might have to be another plant that grows up here, actually. I think I'll have to remove it from the pot it's in because it's just in a shop pot. So I might replant that and then put it up here and grow it out like the rest of them. Yeah, it's probably the most underwhelming example. I get that, but really, really weird plant anyway. So I'll hold this up and I'll talk about it, but warning, it is quite sexy. It's probably going to look quite photogenic on camera because corrugated stuff normally does because it's got intrigue to it. So this plant here, if you look, it is pretty hot, right? It is pretty hot. So I think I bought this as Luxurians. Yeah, it says Anthurium Luxurians on it. I don't think it is. I can see my Luxurians that I have, like, you know, the bigger one over there off camera and the petioles are all green. Now this one, they're all red. Now maybe there's more than one type of Luxurians. I'll just hold this up closer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Maybe there's more than one type of luxuriance. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's immature. I don't know. But I thought it was very, very odd because it's got red stems. And then I wondered, I thought, is there any possibility that this has some radicans in it? That's anthurium radicans. And is it a cross? Is it something a bit different? Now, if anything, I don't think the heat has done this because the temperature is the same everywhere. I don't think light would do this. I think this is just a hallmark of the plant. Yeah, you can see those red petioles miles off. I would pick mine up, guys, but it's so heavy. It's like in a really big pot. I kind of can't. It's a gorgeous plant, though. I'm very much in love with it. But I don't, I don't know if it's just plain luxuriance. If it is, by the way, if you've got one, and, and you say to me like, oh, no, literally, they're like that when they're younger, then cool. I'll keep it tagged as luxuriant. I've only got this, so I, I'm not really selling it anyway. It doesn't matter to me. But let me know what you actually think of this. Again, I'm gonna have to cover myself. It's gorgeous though, is it not? Oh my goodness. If you like this kind of shape, by the way, it's similar enough to a luxuriance. Um, you, you might want to invest. The leaves are a bit like, if I can compare them to a type of leaf, they're a little bit like the Monstera Peru plant. A lot like that, actually. Very, very, very similar. So if that's kind of your thing, you might like it. Plus, if I can show you the petioles, because I've done this before in a haul. You see this petiole? It's like... It's just a weird shape. It's got these four frills like round the petiole and it almost makes it like square shaped. It's so bizarre. So it's beautiful and it's very photogenic. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to take a nice photograph of that for 
for Instagram. That's really, really pretty. This next plant I have to show you is another oddball. And obviously it's, it's had some shipping damage. But this here, I do believe, according to the tag, is Anthurium Fairchild by Luxurians. So it's got some of, potentially anyway, the last plant in it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't think I'm a fan of this one. I think Ben likes this a lot more than I do. I'm going to show you it. I'm going to show you the leaf here and hopefully it will focus. That's kind of leaf. So you can see some corrugation kind of creeping in. You can certainly see it on the leaf that's like further away there on the side. But you can't see a whole wedge of much. It's a bit boring to me. I'm not going to lie. I don't mean to like insult the plant, but I kind of am. If you look at the back though, it does have those petioles. Can you see that there? It does have that really weird square petiole kind of vibe. So it's got that, but it doesn't have the veining. Do I have it close to me? Yeah, right here. It doesn't have any of the veining, so it didn't inherit any of that. So it's probably got the length of that because Luxurians isn't really very long. So I don't know, guys. Be totally honest with you, this one does not excite me. That's not why I'm showing you it, obviously. I'm showing you it so that you've seen something new. It is something in the shop and it is technically an oddball. I just don't like it. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you think I'm literally just barking up the wrong tree here and it's actually really nice. Sorry, guys, it really wants to focus on my face today. Out of all the plants here, this is the kind of the shittest for me, to be honest. And that was my weird little oddball plant show and tell. I don't really know what I'm going to call this, you know. Again, it's just weird things I've found in the shop. And honestly, I've probably got a ton more. I mean, that's a shop full of stuff down there. There'll be stuff I haven't even found yet. So I'll let you know if I find anything new. I can't really say that I'm selling these because they are so odd that there are literally one of them. So it's not really a very useful video in that sense. But at least hopefully, maybe you've seen something new. My favorite thing in this collection, though, is either the luxurians or to be honest it's got to be this because this is amazing and I, I think i've got big plans for this thank you very much for watching this extremely random video i hope you enjoyed it all the same if you like this video please leave a like down below it really helps similarly if you'd like to see any more of my content please feel free to hit that subscribe button thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye